David's question is very apposite, I believe. Yeah. And the issue of dementia, which I'm not an expert on in a long way, and the issue of bedroom tests, because it's completely linked. If things are bad enough already for people who are disabled, then it's been made a lot worse as a result of the bedroom tests. Yeah. And so the council could at least do a little bit about it, but it refuses to. Other councils have redesignated bedrooms in council houses as spare rooms. In other words, it's no longer a three bedroom house or a two bedroom house, it's a two bedroom house plus a spare room for the disabled to put their uh, necessary uh, uh, aids in as regards that. And they refuse to do it. Yet other councils around the country are redesignated. They can at least do that. I think that any government and any council worth its salt should immediately axe the bedroom tax. Stop the bedroom tax and refuse to implement it. And the, and the reason there's a bedroom tax is because councils are, 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 are carrying through the uh, policies of, this, of the central government in actually in their, in their austerity programme. On the issue, for instance, 6,000 people in Southwark was took to court, I think this year and last year, not as a result of the bedroom tax, but as a result of a shift in council, uh, council tax benefits away from central government to local government and, and some of the counties, one of the few councils that make the, the, the worst, deprived, the most impoverished people pay a part of their council tax because they no longer get 100% benefit of That's completely wrong. 6,000 people taking the court. It lies difficult enough already and here's, here's the council making it worse. So I think it's absolutely linked between the two questions. Yeah. Yeah.